So in this day and age, we have a lot of different displays that we can basically choose from and a lot of different phones we can choose from as well. Some of the top ones are LTPO OLED displays like we have on some of the pro model iPhones and some really expensive Androids. And then we have, you know, standard OLED displays that we have on some of the cheaper phones, maybe like a Pixel 8 or maybe like a cheaper iPhone in this you know, case as well. So what are the main differences here, right? In what case, why is an LTPO OLED better? Why is an OLED better? Let's go and take a look. Now, in almost every single case, the LTPO OLED display is probably going to be an overall better panel for you. I would say for the average person, you're probably not going to care too much. But if you want to spend more money or if you already are spending more money, you're going to be getting some advantages with an LTPO OLED type of display. Now, number one is power efficiency. With an LTPO OLED display, this type of panel is going to be able to be more power efficient overall than something like an OLED display. So the thing with an, with an LTPO OLED display is that it can have a variable refresh rate. So it can go from like 1 hertz all the way up to 120 hertz and then back to 1 hertz if it needs to and anything in between. With a standard OLED display, it's either going to be locked at 60 hertz or 120 hertz or 90 hertz even. It doesn't necessarily mean that if you're going to be like, you know, going and using a panel for something else, it may not have a variable refresh rate like an OLED, like an LTPO OLED display may have. So that is one thing to keep in mind. Because of that, you're not always going to be locked in at 120 hertz all the time. So that can also save some battery here and there, and that can just be a little bit more efficient depending on which way you're trying to go. So that in and of itself can be a big thing to keep in mind. Also, with an LTPO OLED display, the overall display could feel and perform a little bit smoother. So if you're going through and using this device, you may see that it can change the refresh rates a little bit nicer. It won't be so you know, herky-jerky here and there is the best way to describe it. OLED, I think, is still very good. You know, you're not going to notice too many things, but that could be one thing you're going to notice. Now, from a cost perspective, an LTPO OLED display is more expensive to overall produce rather than a standard OLED display. The reason for this is because with something like an LTPO OLED display, you're getting all those, you're getting that power efficient display, you're getting those variable refresh rates. And because of that, it's overall going to take more money for these manufacturers to go and develop something like this rather than something like a standard OLED display. So that right there is another big reason why something like an OLED display may end up giving you a cheaper phone. And, and the advantage I would say of an OLED display is the cost. This is going to be a cheaper you know, panel to make hence why some of the OLED phones are cheaper to buy overall. So that is one thing to keep in mind right there. If you're going through and if you're buying a phone, you're probably going to notice that something like an OLED display phone is going to be a little bit cheaper to buy than something like an LTPO OLED display phone. So overall, those are kind of the main differences between an OLED display and an LTPO OLED display. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.